I was incredibly impressed with the, the amount of research that you had done, that Jim had done, and, and the, uh, the depth. Of, I, can't, I can't imagine that anybody has done more about that, that subject. I mean, it, it was just amazing to me that how deeply into it he went. I loved, I loved the, um, the scope of the experience. It was, you know, the physicality of going over to the tower, which I had never bothered to stop at before. Um, and I thought having all those features pointed out was really fascinating. And I loved, you know, being walked to all the different points. It was it's a very interactive kind of experience having that tour. And it just brings out features that most people would never even notice. Um, and I loved also then when we got back inside, I loved the... Um, the demonstration of the camera obscura absolutely yes, blew yes. my mind. That was really That amazing. needs to be included in, for everybody who goes there. I just thought it's so it must it was discovered so so long ago and it's still yeah. mind blowing. Yeah. You know? And and it and so much a part of the of uh, what the tower is about. And it made apparently. it so clear that yes, I I get it. I get what that I get what he's talking about there. And it it was just fascinating and I think what I liked about the whole experience was there was the physicality and just the sheer notice this notice that notice that and then it was an intellectual experience it was you know um, invigorating to to hear all that input it's history it's science it's Elizabethan culture and times I, I had a great time I had a great time and I've already started recommending it to friends. I've been looking at the, that tower for years and, and wondering where, where, what its origins could possibly have been and you know, just fantasizing about it because there's no information on, on site about it. And to suddenly have this wealth of information uh, uh, be exposed to it, is, it was really uh, very gratifying and really just uh, reignited my interest in it again. I, I also, I mean, I'm not a historian. Um, but I, I find that sort of thing very interesting and it just gave me a better sense of the just the speculating about what could this have been takes you back and makes you think about all the various phases of occupation of this area and and I, I just found myself thinking that um, it just gives you a wonderful sense of, of you know where we've come from and the kind of thinking that went before us and it seemed like it made that tower seem like a really uh, valuable or uh, you know something that should be cherished in in Rhode Island's history even though it is still a mystery that's part of the the enchantment of it but I was you amazed know? at how, how, how little research work seemed to have been done on it really uh, at the level that, that Jim did it, uh, I mean, it was very, uh, I had never heard anything written, of, seen, heard or anything uh, written about it before, and uh, it just, you know, it, it might be one of the oldest structures in the, in the country. I also enjoyed um, having the opportunity to see the library uh, in the back of the museum that, you know, filled with all the documentation. I mean, that is very impressive. It's, it's, um, it's a serious... Uh, re research project that's been undertaken, and and I think more people should know about it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, but it also seems valuable. There's nothing superficial about the work that, that Jim has done on this. It's really very in depth and very assiduous. And, and um, I, I, again, as I said it before, I don't think anybody has any, done anything close to the, the in depth study of this structure as it deserves to have done, and that Jim has seemed to have done.